Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of our Pikmin 4 Let's Play. Last we left off, we had finished off at the Blossoming Arcadia and started to look into something called Night Expeditions. Now you'll notice here I kind of took a step ahead and immediately went to start a Night Expedition. Uh, I didn't want to make you guys wait any longer. We've been putting these off for a while and I kind of do want to get a lot done today. So hope you don't mind that I went and just started the expedition. I haven't done anything in it, obviously. I just, you know, took off in the SS Beagle. We're headed to the Sun Speckled Terrace, so danger level of one, the Ancient Arches. Of course, we are heading there at night, so things are going to be a little different here. Uh, hopefully, not too scary, obviously. Uh, night expeditions aren't new to the Pikmin series. You know, being on the planet at night has always been viewed as, like, a horrible thing. Like, you want to get off as, as soon as possible when the sun starts to go down. Here we are, a familiar place. It's been a while since we've been here, but with, the, with all the darkness, it definitely feels like a different place. It feels a lot spookier. Looks like there's some weird little baby bulb orbs there and a big old, big old spotted dual bulb bulb orb in the back there. I don't know why I couldn't say his name. Looks like something's glowing there. That might be the thing that the doctor wants us to look for. We are here to see if we can get some some sort of stuff to make some medicine to cure the leafling creatures we've been coming across a lot. There it is, new blood. That is a luminol. When dawn breaks, it will release an extract I'll use to make that medicine. But if the luminol is destroyed, we won't harvest any extract at all. All you need to do is protect the luminol until morning. Simple, right? Uh, something like that. You'll notice our onion isn't here with us. Luckily, there are these weird little creatures that are found around the luminol that seem to be seem to be little hard workers. These little guys weren't here before. Let's observe them and see what they do. Familiar looking, uh, definitely a little different, but that big old leaf on their head is definitely reminiscent of some of the pigment types we've encountered in the past. Look at that, it propagated more. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, New Blood? Oh. They definitely seem to be interested in us. That's a glow Pikmin. This is my my new favorite type of Pikmin. I think these guys are adorable. Yep, those little guys sure look like a new variety of Pikmin to me. They're kind of glowing, so glow Pikmin seems like an appropriate name. Oh, hi. Yeah, there he is again. He's very interested in us, it seems like. There's a bunch of them coming out of the Luminol. Seem like Ochi, too. Uh, they're rather fond of you. That's perfect. You and those little guys can protect the Luminol together. We're pretty good at managing Pikmin, so just because these ones are little weirdly ghost creatures doesn't seem to make it too different. You can propagate more Glow Pikmin by bringing these like fragment-looking things back to the Luminol. Of course, our Glow Pikmin will be helping us do that. Glow Pikmin are interesting in the fact that they will almost always be able to find their way back to you, uh, even if you're far from the Luminol, so you can get pretty far and not have to worry about it. You can see here we're going to get pretty far away, and the Glow Pikmin will still be able to like teleport back to us almost. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. You're going to want to really quickly cross this bridge if you're doing the same route I am. You'll encounter this weird thing. You're going to get close to it, it'll light up, and you're going to want to throw a Glow Pikmin or two onto this pile next to it, and you'll notice they start to throw the Glow Pellets into this. From the looks of it, this could be a juvenile form of a Luminol. If that's the case, then it's possible this could be connected to the Luminol below ground. Maybe it could serve as an interim drop point when transporting glow pellets from far away. Additionally, it seems like it could act as a decoy for the creatures to help keep the Luminol safe. It's small, but it shines quite brightly. Why don't we call it a Trichinol? Good thinking. Try using it as a decoy and interim drop point. These Trichinols are going to be placed all over the map, normally pretty close to the Luminols, so... You don't have to go too far. It's a good idea early on to kind of explore around and activate as many Trichinols as you can. There's one right here we're about to activate, but... It's about that time, new blood. See how the creatures become more aggressive at night? They're drawn here by that irresistible glow. Watch out now. They'll come for the luminol, so don't let them break it. Ah, they're headed this way. For now, collect glow pig pellets and propagate more glow pigment to build up your protective forces. Creatures will keep attacking until dawn, so do your best to take them out. Okay, it's up to you, Ochi and Max. Good luck. Turn on this trick and all. You can see which creatures are uh, attacking you. Based on the map, you can see the giant, like, red pointed, like, arrows, I guess. You can see some over here. You can also see them through walls if you're not near them, uh, luckily. Makes protecting it substantially easier. So, just kind of keep an eye on where the enemies are. Uh, you can attack enemies that haven't gone aggressive yet. You can you can tell if they're aggressive via their eyes. If they're red, then they're aiming for your luminols. Otherwise, you're fine. Uh, you can still take them out if they're not aggressive yet. But they won't, there's no reason, like, 
not to, I'll say, especially if it's just smaller enemies like this that I can take out really quick. But you do got to keep in mind, Luminols are what you're protecting. Like, you want to stay pretty close. You definitely want to take out the enemies that are really prioritizing it. Losing Trichnols isn't too bad. You can lose one or two, but at that point it gets a little da more dangerous, so... Just keep in mind, these are also interim drop points. I was hoping we'd be able to take them out with that charge, but I definitely missed. So we've, we've did, we did lose a trick and all, but like I said, losing one is not a bad deal at all. Um, we'll throw some glow Pikmin on that. It's never a bad re or never a bad idea to throw a few Pikmin glow Pikmin on these glow pellets because having more just makes protecting easier. I think there's some enemies over here. We'll run over here real quick. Although let's see if we can turn on or get some Pikmin on this little pile. We don't need many for these tiny bull warps. You can just one well placed throw knocks them out. So. Oh, looks like there's a another bull orb over there. Let's go check out what's what's going on. Oh, he's almost near the trick and all. This trick and all has lost a little bit of health, so let's maybe be a bit more careful with this one. You really don't want them to start focusing on your main luminol. So let's try to try to keep that up. Oops, we didn't throw any on his back. And some looks like there's quite a few over here. Lucky for us, that wasn't too difficult. Take this guy out. Anything getting close to Luminol. Uh, there's a Bulwarb up there we're going to keep an eye on. Interesting thing about Glow Pikmin is they can go in water. So you can see there are Glow Pellets in here. And we're just fine throwing our Pikmin into it. Looks like there's a creature over here we should be wary of. We'll grab this Glow glow Pellet pile while we're up here. Oh, I guess we've already started sending Pikmin on that one. But a few more won't hurt. There we go. Let's crush this guy. Perfect. Oh, it looks like that big red Bulwarb we saw is coming at us. So, almost to sunrise. We could just wait it out, but if you're able to take out all the enemies, the night actually ends early. We've got all our Pikmin with us, so let's get up a an Ochi charge, run at this thing from the back. Here, come on, lunge at me. Oh, he did grab me. Oh, he got a Pikmin, too. And then, bam. Should we be able to take him out? There we go. And look at that. That's all the enemies for that night. And just like that, our first night expedition is complete. Hope you guys didn't mind me jumping into it immediately. Uh, I've been looking forward to these for a while, and I wanted to be able to see if we can get quite a few done this episode. So, lucky for us, we were able to take it down the or save the Luminol without it even taking a little hint of damage. Huh? <laughs> Here it comes. Pay attention, new blood. It's gonna light up one last time and spit out a bunch of glow essence. This is what we need to make the medicine to cure our leafling. So, that is a condensed Luminol extract. It's very high in de degradative enzymes. I believe we should call it Glow Sap. It's a critical ingredient for the leafling cure. Gather it with care, new blood. Sounds good. Our glow pigment come and check us out. Notice they don't have an onion, so. Look, the glow pigment have come to see you off. Do they want to follow you back to the rescue command post? Uh, they're forming some kind of orb. Or seeds, maybe? My, my, what's this? Glow pigment turned into seeds? I need to study this up close. Please bring some back with you. Sounds good. We got quite a few here. Let's head on back. Hop aboard the SS Beagle and fly back to base camp with our new glow sap. Very successful night. We only lost a few glow Pikmin. And again, since we can't take them back with us, it's not a big deal if you lose a few. It's really, it, it means even less than losing like regular Pikmin. Uh, plus propagating glow Pikmin is quick and easy and you know, they're they're fun little guys. I, I love Glow Pikmin. They, their design is great. I love the way they look. I love the way they attack. Their eyes are a little... I've noticed they're not, like, symmetrical. Like, there's a, they got a tiny one and a big one. I don't really know what the reason is. They're kind of... They remind me of, like, ghosts. They're, like, ghost Pikmin, almost. Little green ectoplasm creatures. Here we are back, bright and early in the morning. Hey, everyone. We, we were very successful. Exploration Day 10. It does take up a full day if you do... A night expedition to keep that in mind. We'll get a, a nice little piece of glow sap. What a fruitful harvest. From one glow sap, I can make exactly one cure. I'm gonna cure this little leafling here. Of course, that ups your pup drive, which is very nice. We're able to get 13 glow seeds. Every five uh, glow pigment you propagate will give you one glow seed, so keep that in mind. So, how was your first venture out onto this planet tonight? It was fun. I enjoyed it a lot. Good, good. What a surprise, though. You met a whole new kind of Pikmin. Before you rescued me, I'd never seen a glow Pikmin myself. I can only assume the Pikmin took a liking to you, New Blood. You should get as much help from them as you can. You are helping them protect their Luminols, after all. Well, I'm not so sure you've got this night expedition thing fully under control just yet. Perhaps I'll go ahead and select the Luminols for you to retrieve Glow Sap from until you are. 
Ahem. I'd like to remind you that you are not allowed to overwork my crew. There we go. So we're able to cure our first leafling. Uh, the next day, we're probably going to head out again. I, I want to see if we can do all the different night expeditions possible in the uh, Sunspeckle Terrace, which is why I started started the expedition for the episode. Uh, really wanted to jump immediately into it. So let's get this leafling cured up, Yanni. Right. Administer the cure at once. Yes, Captain. Give him pop that weird little green pill in his mouth. There we go. Look at that. Back to back to a little like human esque creature. Dash. He's known for saying he can always find me in the pits. He'll take the leap in any cave, no matter how dangerous it is. Our work doesn't end here. It's our duty to care for and protect anyone we've rescued and hear what they have to say. That sounds good. For now, though, we're going to head right back out on another night expedition. You could have gone on a night expedition, are you? I'm ready when you are. Let's explore at night, baby. You'll notice we have a, a giant yellow flower next to the ancient arrows, which means we're not able to get any more glow nectar from there. We're going to head to the rugged scaffold, which has the same danger level, but maybe a new location will give us some new threats. It'll be more fun. Plus, obviously, we haven't uh, gotten the essence from this luminol yet, so we can get some more. I love this takeoff scene. It's the first time you guys get to see it. It's so beautiful. The sun going down. And again, you'll notice the onion does not follow us. We are we are without our normal Pikmin. For better or for worse. Of course, we do get our, our glow Pikmin buddies. You notice we're taking back the 13 glow seeds with us. So you'll find out why in just a second. Uh, glow Pikmin are a very useful Pikmin type. They are resistant to all different types of elemental damage, meaning they can fight poison, they can fight electricity, they can go on water, they can fight fire. Glow Pikmin are definitely, definitely probably the strongest Pikmin. Unfortunately, you can't really find them during the day, so Let's pop on down on the Sun Speckled Terrace. This is pretty close where we were before. You'll notice uh, these expeditions always take place at landing sites you found during the day, so. <laughs> so there's something else I figured out about the Glow Pikmin. As you can see, Glow Pikmin emit a very powerful light. You can use X to gather your Pikmin until you they meld together and form one large glowing ball, releasing them all at once, and it creates a luminous and literally stunning effect, which I call a glow mob. One flash of that overpowering light, and you'll witness all kinds of creatures cowering under its dazzling glow. Glow mobs are incredibly useful. Oh, looks like something else is going on. Remember the glow seeds you picked up the other night? I took the liberty of putting them in your pack. Let me show you how to use them. First, select a glow seed from your pack. When you throw it, it will instantly create a glow pigment. Of course, the only work at night are in caves, so don't forget that. So we can use them during the day as long as we're underground. Unfortunately, we can't use them on the surface, but I might get some use out of that, so. Come here, everybody. Get back on Ochi. Ten. Again, spend the first little bit propagating Pikmin. It's always the best way to start these night expeditions. Looks like there's another trick and all up here for us to activate. Let's do that while we throw Pikmin onto that. They might view this as a closer point. Definitely looks like it. Still got three with us, so. I already see some, uh, Bulb orb over there, so be a bit careful. I would go attack them now, but we don't have many glow Pikmin, and I don't really want to risk uh, any big losses already, so let's wait for a few more to come back to us. I'm keeping an eye on the map, seeing if there's any uh, some big red spots for enemies coming at us. Didn't mean to make you bark there, OG. Sorry about that. Um... You can have Ochi carry these glow pellets back, but the glow pigment are so much more efficient than Ochi is that it's really not worth it. it looks like we've got at least one bull orb checking us out. Is there any more trick and alls? Not that I see. You try out this this new glow mob. You're gonna want to hop off Ochi and get ready to charge your glow pigment. You'll notice they swell up into a ball and throw it at the enemy, and it'll stun them, and they'll all latch on. It's a great way to do a bunch of damage. For bulb orbs, it basically takes them out without much of a threat if you got enough Pikmin, so. I think there's just like an improved Pikmin to charge that only works with Glow Pikmin. Let's hop on Ochi. You can, of course, still charge with Ochi, but the Glow Mob is just, as far as I'm aware, better, so. There we go. Should be able to take that out. Perfect. Ochi, however, can't make a Glow Mob if you have Ochi uh, controlling your Pikmin. Uh, all Ochi can do is charge. You can't make them swarm up like that, so keep that in mind. One, two, three, four, five. See if there's another bull war over here. Let's take care of it before it goes aggressive. Take, it, take care of it in our own time, I guess. Get a glow mob all charged up. And there we go. 
Should take him out real quick. We've got quite a few Pikmin with us at this point. So can you drop any glow pellets? You have five of them. Might be able to finish this night real quick. Oh, there's two Bulvorbs over here, luckily. We have so many glow Pikmin that a glow mob should be able to take them both out, I would think. Let's run on back over. Let's get our glow mob charging up. They're, they're interested in the trick and all, so let's let it go. And that should probably grab both of them real fast. Are there any more Bulvorbs? Maybe one more? I can see one, one, one or two more living things on the map. Oh, he's right up there. Let's see if we can surprise him. We'll charge our glow mob up. Oh, is he dropping down over there? He's up so high, otherwise I could just attack him now. Come on, dude, drop down. There he goes, and glow mob. That's a big bull warp. wow. Hopefully that's enough of a glow mob. Yeah, we're fine, look at that. The power of 45 glow pigmen for you. We're able to get nine more glow seeds with that, and just like that, we finished the night early. We are able to take down all the enemies. I'm pressed you defeated all those creatures. I wasn't even sure you'd survive the night. That, was, that wasn't even hard, dude. The glow mob is so powerful. There we go. Amazing work tonight, as per usual. Should give us a little bit more of that glow sap. There it is. The big green goo. It's a little weird looking. I don't like that it glows. Now we can make the cure. I feel like you wouldn't want to consume something that glows bright green. It's like radiation, kind of. Hop back up and head back for the morning. Again, this will take a day of exploration, but that's fine. Uh, curing these leaflings is definitely worth it. Of course, we do get another piece of glow sap to cure, and our pup drive will go up every time you get a piece of glow sap, which is incredibly nice. We can upgrade o Ochi's capabilities and potentially make him a super-powered pup. Plus, of course, any time spent with the glow pigment is good. I love, I love glow pigment. They're so adorable. They're so powerful. Let's head on back. There we are. Land down. Hello, everybody. It was a very, very nice night. Exploration day 11. Able to feed all six creatures. They were all big bull warp, so it makes sense that there's less of them. And a nice piece of medicine. Let's cure up this leafling with the weird, like, glasses-looking eyes. Nine more glow seeds. We're up to 22 now. Didn't make as many glow pigment that time, but we didn't need as many, so good work. Looks like you're getting the hang of these night expeditions. I think you're ready. Next time you venture out, you can go wherever you would like to collect glow, glow sap. Search for our pilot starts in earnest now, too. Rescue as many leaflings as you can. Let's cure them all. So, about that. Let's stop and think for a hot minute here, okay? Possible Bernard hasn't turned into a leafling yet. What do you mean? I spent a lot of time thinking about it. Yes, that leafling with the dog was chasing me, and yes, that's when I realized Bernard had disappeared, but that's all. What I'm saying is, I never actually saw him turn into a leafling or anything. Oh, interesting. Then, uh, what should we... Look, at the very least, if we catch that leaf link, then we might be able to get a lead on Bernard's whereabouts. I see. Okay, search for that leaf link is your top priority, Max. Copy that. Alright, that concludes this emergency meeting. Let's get to it. Let's back on out. We're gonna head back for another night exhibition. There's at least one more we can do in the Sun Speckled Terrace that I wanna get, get out of the way. These night exhibitions are fun. Uh, I really like doing them. And I, I love doing them all in, like, one big burst. Of course, we do have quite a few leaflings left to cure, so... Although we're about to get another one, so... Then we're down to, what, three? Right. Administer the cure at once. Yes, Captain. There we go. Should be able to pop that in his mouth. He should be all right. There we go. Back to his weird human-esque form. Corguin, a general contractor. When it comes to work, he's thorough, fast, reckless, and presumptuous, which also describes his plan to build houses here. Our work doesn't end here. It's our duty to care for and protect anyone we've rescued and hear what they have to say. Well, let's head immediately back out. We've got at least one more we can do this episode, so explore it tonight. These are the areas. You notice we can now go to the Blossoming Arcadia, three locations there. We're going to finish up at the Sun Spikle Terrace that we've got the meandering slope. It looks like this one's going to be a bit more difficult, but let's head on out. Definitely got a little bit of practice with the first two areas, so and that glow mob is powerful enough to where I'm not too worried about it. There we go, taking off. And uh, the onion heading back up into orbit by itself. I wonder what it does up there, just kind of on its own. I wonder if it just like flies, flies in circles, or I wonder if it thinks that we flew up with it. It'd be a little sad if it gets up there and it's like, oh man, my captains aren't up here with me. Or I guess my captain and Ochi. I don't know if he'd really 
consider him a captain. He acts like one, but, you know, Ochi is just a, a space pup. So, as you can see there, for every five glow Pikmin that propagate during net exhibitions, you'll get one glow seed. So, they can be very, very useful in caves. Uh, less so in these uh, night exhibitions, honestly, but caves, they can be lifesavers. So, definitely stock up on a few if you are having trouble. Plop on down. There we go. I can see a big bull warp up on the hill just staring at us already. Come in. Can you hear me, Max? A while back, I taught Ochi a particular skill used for operations that involve protecting a client. Select the luminol you want Ochi to protect, then give him the command. Ochi will patrol near the luminol and bite any creature that comes close. During a night expedition, if he gets separated from your squad, he'll go to that spot and patrol it for you. Work with him to protect the luminol. That's actually a very, very useful trait of Ochi's, and I'm going to be using it basically for every night expedition. Obviously, traveling around on Ochi can be useful, but him protecting the Luminol can be great, especially if smaller creatures like those baby Bulborb creatures come after it. So, I'm immediately just going to send Ochi out to protect the Luminol. I'm going to start propagating our Pikmin. For the most part, that's the best way to start, is by doing that. You'll know you want to come over here pretty fast. You'll notice that there's some weird creatures coming out of this little hole right here. Send some Glow Pikmin very quickly and take care of that. As soon as, of course, you can take care of the, the creatures surrounding it. If you send the Pikmin into it, they will disable it, and enemies will no longer be able to come out of it, which obviously is just awesome. So definitely keep an eye out for these little, like, dirt mounds. They, they can make just... Obviously, they're smaller enemies, so Ochi can take care of them himself, but it is just less of an annoyance to have them out of the way. So I don't see any Trichinols. Oh, there's one down here. We'll check this out. Looks like I'm missing a lot of glow pellets. I don't really have any glow Pikmin with me right now, though. There we go. Activate that. I'll charge some Pikmin at this glow pellet pile. Some more at this one. And then we'll get a few going on this one. I see another dirt mound over there. We'll go take care of that in just a second. Uh, how many Pikmin do I got? 13? Okay, let's... Let's charge them in. We don't even have to worry about the enemies just yet. Let's just send everyone in and they'll take care of it. I do see these guys. We're gonna charge up a glow mob and then... There we go. That should be fine. Take them all out. We should be able to punish these guys with our own fists, too. Yeah, they're they're pretty weak, so even if you don't have any Pikmin, you should be fine. There's one over here, so let's just pop a single Pikmin on him. And grab those glow pellets. Uh, we're right next to the uh, trick and all, so it shouldn't take too long to propagate more Pikmin. Uh, almost halfway through the night, which is nice. Obviously, the creatures are going to get tougher and tougher. I do see a big bull board ahead in our direction over there. I do want to keep an eye on him. He's really... That guy up there is really close, so... He's not aggressive yet, but I definitely could see him being... Being so very shortly. Let's get all our Pikmin ready to fight this big guy. And then we charge up a nice little glow mob. And bam. Should take him out. While they're doing that, let's punch these guys. Yeah, let's grab them. Once we get our Pikmin back, we'll we'll send them in to disable it. There they go. I think a few got in there, didn't they? Oh, it looks like we lost one or two, but that's alright. There they go. Running on in. Dirt mount excavation. Perfect. So that means no more of those guys coming at us from that location specifically. Though it does look like there's maybe one over here with all the, the large amount coming at us. They're getting a bit close to Luminol. Luckily we do have Ochi watching over it, so it's not too big of a deal. He should be able to take them out himself, but we'll come over and help. Why not? Two, three, four, five. Where were they coming from, I wonder? Oh, up there. I see it. Let's disable that. Oh, there's that big guy coming at us. Let's be very careful about that. Charge everyone in there. We'll charge up a glow mob. We gotta be very ready. Come on, come back, Pikmin, quick. How many do we got? Oh, barely any. There we go, there we go. And charge. Grab him. He was really going at Ochi. And there we go. Okay, phew. They got a little too close for comfort, but that's all right. Of course, we'll, we'll send all that back. Uh, Ochi got a little low on health there, which is a little worrying, but that's fine. Looks like the trick and all is being attacked. Where is that? Over here? Oh, is this the last enemy? Is this seriously the last dude? I think it is. I don't see anyone else. Yeah, look at that. Day, night, or the night ends, not the day. Perfect. Fantastic. There's not a single creature left standing or skittering or hopping. True. We got them all. It's funny that the little guy snuck past all our defenses. Amazing work tonight, as per usual. There we go, get a nice piece of glow sap. Perfect. You can cure another leafling with that. 
All right, then, new blood, go collect that glow sap. Sounds good. Let's head on back to the SS Shepherd and bring that home so our doctor can make a nice piece of medicine, cure that leaveling, and that'll probably be it for today. We were able to get all three night expeditions I wanted to get done, so made very good progress. I was a bit worried we'd run into time there, but we're all right. So <clears throat> next episode, we'll probably head over to the Blossoming Arcadia and check out those night expeditions. Uh, just getting all six we can do out of the way, so. They're very fun, uh, obviously great for progression, being able to cure leaflings and up our puff drive in one thing is amazing. So, And of course those glow seeds are nice to have too, just in case we find ourselves in the cave and we're lacking the pigment we need. So, let's head on home. Hello there everybody. How's everyone doing? There you go, exploration results, day 12. Harvest successful, beat all six creatures. Got a nice piece of medicine. Let's cure up that pink leafling. Up drives up to five. We might be able to get an upgrade now, so. Wow, 13 glow seeds. We did good that day. Or night specifically. My observations have led me to an important realization. Glow Pikmin cannot die. What? How, what do you mean? Well, when a glow Pikmin uh means its demise, it turns into photons and returns to the luminol, or so it seems. Are they really Pikmin then? To a question, they definitely kind of seem more like ghosts than Pikmin, with the way they kind of just like apparate in their shape. I definitely don't think they're super similar to Pikmin. Obviously, the leaf on their head and their ability to be thrown suggests otherwise, but I feel like you can throw lots of little things. Let's cure up this leafling. Right. Administer the cure at once. Yes, Captain. Bring him back. I wonder what this person's gonna person's gonna be. It doesn't look like our captain. He's not wearing the green that we all have on. This is Jin. He's always in search of the next uncharted planet to explore, as well as someone who wants to hear tales of his past adventures. Seems like he's definitely an explorer then. Gonna keep curing up our leaflings. Obviously, we're out of medicine at this point. So, with that being said, we're running a little long here. Next episode, we're gonna head out on even more night expeditions. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, Hope you didn't mind the quick start to this episode. We kind of jumped right into it, but that, that was the intention. I was hoping we'd get as much done as possible. Next episode, we'll probably head back out to those night expeditions, so make sure to tune in next time if you want to see us explore the Blossoming Arcadia after the sun goes down. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching, and have a good day.